if you have a square root of x to the power of 4, the answer it will be how many Abdullah? The square root x to the power of 4. So the answer it will be how many? Here, above the radical sign, we're supposed to have which number? We have 2. two. If you want to put x out of the radical sign, then you have x. x power 4 divide x power 2. It will be how many? It will be x to the power of 2. Right? So once you okay. have x power 4, and you want, because this type of question, you can't answer it by calculator, then x power 4 and square root, we have 2, but we didn't write it. So it will be 4 divided by 2. What about if I have a square root x power 5? How we can solve this question? A square root x power 5. How we can solve this question, grade 9? You will decrease one number. Thank you, Laura. We will decrease one number. So it will be x power 5. It will be x power 4. And then we still have x. Now we can simplify x power 4 to be out of the radical sign. Then it will be how many? x power 4 to be out of the radical sign. It will be how many? 2. Two. So x power two. 2. Yes, it will be x power 2. And we will keep x under the radical sign. And this is what we already explained yesterday, even in the class or in extra session. So if we look at the questions here now, like if uh, question number um, 16, who can answer question number 16? Question number 16. We have in question number 16, yes, yeah, Ahmed, we have 10. We have 10. Ahmed Uta. Uh, yes, miss. 10. I will power four. divide them by 2. Uh, divided by 2, yes, divided by 2, B power of 3, right? So this is the question. Yes. How we can simplify? You told me that you will make 10 divided by 2, right? Then 10 equal 5. divided by 2, it will be equal 5. After that um, question, we have same variable or different variable? Same variables. Same variable. So we can simplify them together? Yes. Yes. How we are going to simplify it? Uh, minus the powers. Minus the powers. Thank you. So it will, it will be b power 4 minus b power 3. So we have only one b. So in case we have the same variable, so we will simplify the variable together. But in case if you have different variable like question number 15, you have m to the power of 3, right? Over 121 m to the power of 4. We said if we want to answer this question, we will divide the answer. We can separate the numerator and the denominator. So we will make the numerator m to the power of 3. And down, we have 121 under the square root for sure, and to the power of 4. Then look at the numerator now m to the power of 3. How we will simplify it? How we can simplify m to the power of 3? Ritaj, you know? Ritaj? Miss, I'm with you. Yes. You, you can answer the, this part, please. <coughs> m to the power of 3. Okay, 3, we, we will divide it with 2. Mm -hmm. So it will be 3 over 2. This is what we said. The exponent here is uh, uh, odd or even? We will increase it to one. 
yes, we will increase it now. So once you so, will decrease, not increase. I, I'm sorry, decrease, yes, not uh, decrease. decrease. So, so decrease, it will be two. So mm -hmm. two divided by two, it will equal one. It will so it will be, be M. For this reason, if you want to, to say it step by step, so it will be M to the power of two times M. Right? And already we have a square root 121. Is this a perfect square number? 120. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a perfect square number. Then, yes. so it will be, the square root of 121, it will be equal 11. 11. And n 11. to the power of 4, it will be equal n to the power of 2. two. Right? After that, the square root m to the power of 2. So it will go out and it will be how many? It will be m. And we will keep m under the radical sign. And then down we have 11 n to the power of 2. Okay, any question related to the homework? Any more question related to the homework, grade nine? No, thank you. No mistake. Okay, so let's move to our lesson today, which is talking about what? In our lesson today, we will talk about what? Adding, subtracting radicals. Now that we have a basic understanding of radicals, we can move into addition and subtraction of radicals. With radicals, we have two different types of questions. We add or subtract radicals by using the distributive probability. Like what? You have two square root five and three square root five. We can note that both of them, they have a square root five, right? Then they are the same or different the radical now. The numbers and the sign for the radical are the same or different? Same. Same. So we have a square root five and a square root five. In this case, we will use distributive probability, which is we are going to keep root a square root five outside as a common, and then we have a square root uh, uh, five out, and then we have two plus three. To the final answer, it will be five square root five. Understood this part? Or you want me to back again? We will take root five as a common, right? And then two square root five divided square root five, it will be two. Three square root five, when you take square root five as a common, so we have three. Then it will be, we will add two plus three, and the answer by the end, it will be five square root five. Any question about this part? So we will add the numbers before the radical sign together, and we will keep square root five the same. Like when you have X and X or Y and Y. In this question, do you note that you have the same number and the same radical sign? Hmm. In, in, the, in the question in front of you now, what do you have? Hmm. Do you have the same or different? Same. Same, square root three, square root three, square root three, right? Then hmm, what we have to do, we will use square root three, right? Uh, or distribution. Uh, by distribution. So we will put out square root 3. What is the result? It will be negative 7, negative 12, plus 15. Right? Then the answer, we will add it normally. Negative 7 minus 12, it will be negative 19. Plus 5, it will be equal negative 4 square root 3. So this is for the, 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 the first part. In order to add or subtract using distributive probability, we need same index, same radical expression under the radical sign. Then, for example, I can't work with the square root 3 and the cubic root 3. We have same index, same which means same exponents, and same radical number under the radical sign. And we can say that this one is like radicals, okay? Then when we have both uh, criteria, 
same index, same radicand, then this is called like uh, radicand. And this one, if those two are radical or uh, like or unlike, this case, it will be like or unlike. We have a square root set. Like, like. like. So this is, is like a radical. But if we will move to the next one, in this one, I have a square root three and the cubic root three. The exponents here are different. The radicand are the same, but the exponents are different. Then those two now, it will be uh, uh, like or unlike? Unlike. Unlike. So we can add them together. We can or not? We can't. We can. Thank you. Now we have another question. In this case, we have negative 8 square root 5 and 6 square root 20. Let me say something. We can't accept composite number under the radical sign, which means 20 now. We can simplify it or we will keep it like this. Square root 20. We can simplify it or not. Square root 20 equal how many? Hmm. We will like this or we can change it. 20. Did you remember? Can we can change. Can change. Did you remember when I said about a perfect less for a perfect square numbers. We can find a number in a perfect square uh, uh, less multiply by another number is not perfect and it will give us 20. I said that we will search about two numbers when we will multiply them it will give us 20, right? The first one, it will be perfect And the second one is not perfect. Okay, so the first one is perfect and the second is not perfect. Is there anyone can tell me? Hmm. How many time, how many it will give us 20. One of them is perfect and the second is not perfect. Okay, Farah. Uh, four and five. Four and five, thank you. Then. Four, it will be in the perfect square, right? Perfect square numbers. And five is not perfect square. After that, the square root of four, the square root of four, because we said that we can separate them into two parts like this. And later on, you can do it directly without separating, right? So it will be square root four times square root five. Now, square root four, it will be how many? Hmm. Two. Square root four, it will two. be how many? It will be two, right? And we will keep a square root five with nothing. It will be two square root five, okay? So this is one method. When you search in a perfect square less and you can find a number with perfect, multiply by another number, it will give us the number under the radical sign. If I don't memorize the perfect square numbers, what we can do, we can make factorize, like this is 20. So it will be 20 divided by two, equal 10, divided by two, equal five, divided by five, equal one, right? Is there any two numbers, uh, or is there any number repeating two times? Is there any number in front of us here repeating two times? Yes. 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 Square root five. Yes. Two, right? Two. So we will take from this group, we will take only one. Because this one like two to the power of two. Then we will put it out two. And then the number which doesn't have a partner, we will keep it under the radical sign. So we have two different ways to find the answer without using calculator. I'm not talking about calculator now. Then 20, we have the first method, which we can use it to find the answer and it becomes two root five. We can make by uh, factorizations and these numbers, it should be prime numbers. And then we will continue to find the answer. Okay, so 
So we said at the beginning that negative eight square root five, the number under the radical sign here is a prime number. So we will keep the first one the same, but the second number, this is a composite number. So we have to simplify it to becomes a prime number. So let's continue. Now, we, after we change the both two numbers to becomes um, um, with a radical, the same radical, we said that square root 20, it will be six. Oh, sorry. Uh, we said that it was two root five, right? And we have a number. Don't forget that we have a number before the radical sign. So we have to multiply them together. Let me back to this point again. We was working. We were working with root twenty, and we said root twenty was equal how many? We found root twenty equal how many? Two square root five, right? But don't forget that already we have six before the radical sign. So here we have six. Then six multiply by two, it will be equal twelve square root five okay so this part it will be 12 square root five from where we got 12 grade nine from where we got 12 six, grade nine. Mm. six times two six times two right and then the answer it will be equal 12 root five after we uh, finish this one so if we want to simplify them together then 6 root 20 becomes 12 root 5. And this one was 8, negative 8 root 5. We have the same radicand and the same uh, uh, exponent, so we can simplify them together. What about this question now? Negative square root 2 plus 2 square root 2. If those two are like or unlike radical, radicand, like or unlike? Like. Like. like then we can work with the with the question right and we will use distribution we will put root two outside and after that we will use the same uh, way and then we put root two out it will be negative one plus two so the answer it will be a square root two any questions so far till now it's the same this one are the same or not those two are the same or not same radicand and exponent or different? Same. Same. So we can simplify directly. Who can tell me the final answer for this question? Who can tell me the final answer for this question? Hmm. No one in the class? It will be root 8. Root eight. E root 8, yes. Why? Because we are going to add negative 4 uh, plus uh, 8. We will keep 8. We will keep 8. 8 is the prime number. 8 here is the prime number, or we can find a square root for 8. Hmm. 8. You can find a number. When you in a perfect square list, we can multiply it with another number to it will give us eight. Hmm. Or the easiest method you can make eight divided by two, it will be equal four divided by two, it will be equal two divided by two equal one. Then from those two, we have two right then two times negative four it will be negative eight root what root what root two we said that this one it will be two root two then plus eight sorry five times two it will be equal ten square root two then Negative 8 plus 10, it will be how many? Grade 9. Negative 8 plus 10, it will be equal to, two. and then we will keep root 2. 
What about if you will uh, add from the beginning negative 4 plus 5, and you told me that the answer equal root 8, right? Someone tell me that the answer equal root 8. We can't keep it like this. So we have to change it into, uh, to make it in simplest form. So it will be 2 square root 2. So in both two methods, by the end, you will find the answer equal how many? 2 square root 2. But it's better to simplify the question to put the number under the radical sign in the simplest form or the radical in simplest form. Any question till now? Any question? We have already square root 450 AD, square root 50 AD. 450, is this a prime number? Is this in simplest form? If this no. is simplest form, so we have to do what? Factorize. Factorize, okay. So we will factorize 450. It will be how many? If we will make factorize for 450. Divide by 3 equal 150. Okay, divide by 3 equal 150. Divide by 3 divide equal 50. By 3 equal 50. Divide by 5 equal. Divided by 5 equal 10. Divide by 2 equal 5. Divide by 5 equal 2. Divide by 2 equal what? Equal 1. So we can say that. 450, we will take one from those two, so it will be three, and we will take one from those two, so it will be five. Then three times five, it will be equal 15. And under the radical, we have two, and we have the variable A, B. Okay, then A square root 50, it will be how many? Square root 50. We can look at the second part here. It would be how many? 50 divide 5 equal 10 divide 5 equal 2. So who can tell me it's square root 50? It would be how many? 5 square root 2. 5 square root 2. So we have 5 square root 2 AB. Right? So the answer by the end, it will be how many? Now, we found that the radicand becomes the same, 2AB and 2AB. Then we will start to simplify directly. It will be 15. It will be 15 minus 5. It will be equal 10 times square root 2AB. Right? 10 square root to a b okay another uh, question i'm going to answer question in your book page 839 question number 64 Okay, so sometimes we have a, a, a radical expressions with factorizations like the square root here. I have four a square root x minus three plus square root twenty five x. minus 75. The first radicand, we have x minus 3. But for the second one, this expression, when we have 25 x minus 75, we can take which number as a common, grade 9? We can take 25 as a common, right? Then the rest, it will be x minus 3. 
then we we have square root so square root of 25 it will be equal 5 and then we have under the radical sign x minus 3 and for the first one we have x minus 3 this one down then by the end it will be 4 plus 4 plus 5 equal 9 square root x minus 3. Okay, so sometimes we have um, um, under the radical sign, we have an expression. We will make factorize by the normal method which we studied before, and then we will simplify. So this is was our lesson today. I appreciate uh, uh, what you 